What's happening, everybody? Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload all the time. Now, one thing that one of the most interesting follows that I have on social media is Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, as we all know, is a pro football Hall of Famer, is a college football Hall of Famer, and now primetime is the head coach of the Jackson State Tigers football team down in Jackson, Mississippi in HBCU. So, I follow Dion because Dion is entertaining. Dion Sanders posts quite often. Dion Sanders is always on Instagram letting everybody know what he's doing, what moves he's making, and what's coming with Jackson State football. And that's why I follow Dion because he is that thrill, because he does constantly update his stories, because he's always joking and dancing and doing all kinds of stuff, but he's still putting in work. And his 21st and Prime, his podcast Instagram, uh, I think the TikTok has over 100,000 followers. The Instagram has over 40,000 followers. Dion himself has, uh, let me tell you exactly how many followers Dion has. Dion has a quite a, Coach Prime has a quite a, he has 1.6 million followers. And Dion posts at least two to three times a day, which, you know, is, is regular for some people, maybe a little less than most. but. Dion is a head football coach of a college football program. Nick Saban ain't posting two and three times a day on Instagram. He ain't dancing on Instagram. He ain't on TikTok. But Dion is a Nick Saban. And so the question that I pose is, is Dion Sanders posting too much on social media to be a successful college football coach? Now, we know Dion Sanders has shown that he can recruit at an elite level at a level abnormal to most HBCUs, unfortunately. It should be very normal to HBCUs. Hell, the players are black, and these are black schools. But regardless, it's an, at an abnormal rate. He's getting players that have Power 5 offers. He's getting transfers from Power 5 schools. He's getting players to choose Jackson State over the likes of Florida. <laughs> Not just a regular Power 5 school, an SEC school. That's what Dion's able to do. That's what Coach Prime, that's what being Dion and the work that he and his staff has put in down at Jackson, Mississippi, has been able to do in a short amount of time. The man's only been there since September. We're in February. So we're talking about in a span of what, five months? He's been able to do this. Yes, that's what that's what Dion Sanders being Coach Prime and having the assistance that he has has been able to do. But but I find it interesting because I'm like, dang, y'all, like he posts a lot. I mean, a lot, and, and, and you ain't got to take my word for it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how often Coach Prime <laughs> posts on Instagram and some of the stuff that he's posts because I find it super entertaining. That's why I follow him. Hell, it's, it's, it's entertaining as all get out. But it is abnormal for a football coach. Now, let me share my screen because, you know, we're trying to make everything transparent. Let me share my screen and go to my Instagram. Coach Prime, you can follow me on Instagram at jlighty 7 So here's Coach Prime. Here's Deion Sanders. Now let's look at what his story got going today. Uh, that's something from his from his podcast Instagram. This is another thing. So that's another thing. Deion Sanders is still heavily involved with Barstool Sports, which, you know, is cool, I guess. There ain't nothing wrong with it. He has a podcast through Barstool. He still does. Uh, he still does their football show every Sunday through Barstool. But, I mean, these and most of the stuff he posts, like I said, is so he's talking about National Signing Day and some of the new guys he's bringing in. Hey, guess what, baby? Ooh, ooh. We got seven more dogs coming in the camp. We got seven more dogs. Look at him showing out, showing for the culture, man. I love, I love to see it. And he's always promoting Jackson. He's always promoting Jackson State. He's always promoting black colleges. And he's like, the man is so cool. He, like, he is so us. This is twice today already. So that was, this is three times today. Like, now, obviously, I'm not naive. I know that there's probably someone doing this for him in the most part, for the most part. But hell, he's in these videos. So he's recording these videos at some point. So when he's recording these videos, he's away from football, <laughs> which, I mean, the videos are only a minute, two minutes or whatever. But the question is, is that too much? When is too much too much? Like, when is your focus away from football too much 
that you're not focused on the product on the field? Well, that question can only be answered when Jackson State plays football. We won't know until Jackson State's first game. We won't know until the end of the spring season whether Dion was focusing too much time dedicated to, to bar stool. So he, he was a part of the versus football Pro Bowl stuff. He he's with Subways on all the Subway commercials. He's in a Super Bowl commercial. He's got his podcast. He does the Barstool football show every Sunday. So the man is busy. The man's not always in Jackson. The man is every which way and doing every which thing. Like Dion is is still Dion. He's still running a multi million dollar business alongside being the head football coach at Jackson State. So. When will we we will discover this season whether he was stretching himself too thin and not focusing enough on being the head coach of Jackson State, or whether he is prime and just like his playing career when he was in the NFL, how, how he was able his his athletic career where he was able to play baseball and football at the same time, maybe he's able to balance both being Deion Sanders the business and Coach Prime, the head coach of the Jackson State Tigers. I can't wait to see it, man, and I hope it works out perfect for him. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Jeff Lights Jr. at the Black Boss Channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you.